what is going on guys this is young link jr so i just want to make a video real quick about this of course the recap of the errol spence and terence crawford bud crawford right uh we know that was dominant performance by bud crawford uh, super athletic uh, powerful um you know puncher uh counter puncher playing uh, southpaw there's many styles that he have and pretty much outmatch earl spence and you know with this you know it's been talks that okay in the rematch clause you know he's owed to that you know earl spence you want to agree to uh fight him as early as december you know if all if he talks to his camp and they find a way to get this deal done you know and negotiate an agreement but the thing is will this affect earl spence health it's been some um other speculations people believe that okay well his pride is in a way and because it will be witness you know a couple of days ago and you know earl spence it's not really worth it you know yeah he has one loss but we haven't seen him getting beat that bad i mean after round two you know he got knocked down and round seven knocked down twice and they had to stop the fight in round nine mid round nine so they were just like yeah this is um something it's just it was really off you know his timing was off i watched the whole fight it was it was pretty cringing if you was an earl spence fan <laughs> you know i know charleston white he actually had his thoughts and views on it but um porter was actually interviewed by tmz sports and um they was asking about his thoughts that's like hey man do you believe that you know Errol Spence should get a rematch should he go ahead and entertain this and he was like yeah absolutely I mean he will become better he's got to have another strategic plan and it's nothing taken from Bud Crawford he's obviously one of the best uh fighters in the world at this moment right now at 147 and but my thing is too if I don't think if Earl Spence probably have an advantage if he has to move up weight and force Crawford to move up weight to like 150 154 you know, because I know he had to drop a lot of weight just to actually fight Crawford, man. And some people say he looked drained, but and then too, they want to add into the car accident that he had a few years back. You know, going 90 plus miles per hour, uh, flew through his windshield. You know, um, he was looking for his teeth and all this type of stuff. I mean, he was physically hurt, and that could be one aspect. But at the end of the day, man, you agree to this fight, and it just didn't work as planned. You know, I mean, he has a lot of heart. He does, and that's what Porter was actually stating. And that, uh, hey, man, he knows this camp. He fought him before. He can, um, you know, pick himself up and fight this man. And he's actually like, will watch this fight. Now, the thing is with this, some people might be turned off by it because they believe like, oh, well, he just got dominated. So I don't think he's going to fight again. I mean, you got Ali and Frazier. They fought like three or four times, man. So, I mean, you know, that stuff back in the day, they just fought these people. You know, they have losses on their record. Everybody's not going to be undefeated like Rocky Marciano or the Floyd Mayweather's of the world. Like everybody's not going to be undefeated, man. You're going to have some losses, man. Uh, we just didn't expect this to be. Uh, because he haven't touched the mat like this in a while, man. So like Earl Spence is getting dominated. So, but I think uh, I think I don't know. I think he should have the rematch. I think he should. I don't think it should be like this soon. I believe that he should rest. You know, enjoy the money. Okay. And if I was him, you know, train, 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 train. Review the boxing tape. Look at the weaknesses of your of his of his opponent for Crawford even though Crawford has no losses I mean look at the Gamboa fights see what you know he uh, got rocked a little bit like see what's going on see what you can exploit a little bit man it's come out with a different approach and uh, I'll fight like maybe some low-level fighters and maybe next year in the spring try to fight Crawford even though Crawford is like what 35 years old I don't, I don't think it will be too late but I don't know I mean December is pretty pretty quick so but we'll see man um I just really think, uh, you know, he got to recover and everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I would love him to redeem himself, man. <laughs> you know, but Earl Spence, he's a great boxer. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, he knockouts and yeah, uh, title belts. Um, he fought like good people, though. But this one here, it was just a big challenge here. But I'm thinking, too, just to set it for his pride. I think his pride was hurt after this fight. He's going to go ahead and fight him one more time. And I think it's okay. Um, but let's just not get a tko <laughs> i don't care if it goes the distance and you lose like it should make this super competitive and i don't think earl spence is smart enough to do that and um just go ahead but anyway i just want to give my thoughts on that do you believe that earl spence should go ahead and uh give a rematch or should he just sit this one out i want you guys to thoughts and opinions please keep it respectful in the comment section like comment subscribe and share this video this is your boy Link jr and i'm out